It's PD Stays Fresh here. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Got the mood shirt on, as you can see. If you guys know about PD Stays Fresh, I had a website, still own the rights to the website, pdstaysfresh.com, of course. But I had to take it down. We're gonna be doing a relaunch soon. This shirt was my number one seller. Anyways, gonna meet up with Adnan for a little barbecue at Roland Smoke that I shouted out in the last vlog. Anyways, see y'all soon, bye. Twenty-five thousand five hundred twenty-five. No big deal. Just another day in the office. <laughs> Is that a good day? <laughs> Does he look happy? <laughs> bro, I'm so proud of you, bro. That's sick. That's dope. Bro, that's dope. I want the whole. We got to meet up with Adnan at the Bellagio. Big time Addy, New York Poker King, is playing a 10-20 cash game, and he's playing with What's up, man? Cool. You lost already? No, You have a butt in? No. Wait, how long have you been here? I know. Oh, you, you put gel in your hair? You just to get all... You try to press. I got to focus right now. Oh, you got a vlog? Are you gonna vlog? Okay, now. Let me focus on things. I'm gonna play 15,000. I'm gonna play some real money. What are you playing? I'm playing the biggest small money here right now. I thought it was 1020. Yeah, but I'm gonna buy it for it. It's a 2550 right now, too. This guy's buying it for 15,000 right now. I would do it for fucking. I gotta be focused right now, bro. Alright, alright, alright. Well, I'm gonna vlog you then. Why are we gonna watch the play? Get the King. fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn, Rita told me this is here. I love it. I didn't even know it was here. <laughs> You're lying. I swear to God, I saw it right now. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> he comments on your thing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> He's giving you fuck. <laughs> I don't even know. Chill it. You good, son? It's an IG convention. I love it. I saw you. What are you going to do right now? Play cash? 
I didn't know they had a uh, five cents one in a season. Yes, that they never have that. That's sick. How are you awake right now? Me? Why are we awake? How are you awake? Are you gonna play the cross like that? Yeah, no. He already played it. Yeah. Just play it. Just focus to my right. Yeah, you should play it again tomorrow. Punt tomorrow, bro. Punt it tomorrow. Huh? Yo, I don't have to do always one bullet. I, don't like, I promise myself to do one crap shoot tournament, which is that, and that's it. I find anything else. But I didn't know it was our levels, bro. If you make it to level to day two. It's so hard to make day two. Bro, it's not that hard. Yeah, my boy made it. Rob made it. You see, you know, between us. But I'm saying, like, you only see that, that picture that you show, you don't see the four bullets you fire. Because I, I, I was with them day 1A, then day 1B, and then day 1C to show the picture. And uh, day 1B, you're just putting like 18 levels. Yeah, yeah, play down. Yeah, 18 levels. You have to win like so many foot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's this one right here. Are they bagging right now? Yeah, they're bagging, right? Alright, let's go. What are you doing tomorrow? I mean, Monday. Uh, I have to the Yeah. You want to play? Yeah, everyone's saying to play that Venetian. Well, I play that on Tuesday, though. You can play it Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Lazy guy. He's falling asleep. You're awake, man. Dude, I am so tired. Hey, Jalen. Got a fucking team. What's up, man? Peter. Man. How you doing? Good. Dude, I was, I, I was, I was falling you. asleep like... Yeah, can we take a picture? <laughs> There's a hand where I had a read on this one guy. The flop was so someone opened 150, right? That's my right solid. Point. Everyone's solid over there. Base three decks to 400. I have 18 of which is my favorite hand. On the blind, I'm calling all day, right? I'm calling 83 down there. I call, small blind calls, and they initial range of calls. It's like 1600 to pop, right? There's an incident at 7. The flop is. Eight, eight, three, two hearts. Check, check, initial pre flop three better. Check. I have an eight with the second pair. I bet 1300. I'm not going to say anything. I turn the hand to a flop, right? But I'm using position two. Because that guy is supposed to see that. He didn't see it. It was weird. Small blind, tall. My fuck. Now the guy calls. This guy tanks, shoots over to 6100. <laughs> Now I checked like 10 minutes. I had him on 15 of hearts. I knew it's okay. He's not playing some basic. He's not playing anything like that ever. And I checked like 12 minutes. I finally make that fold. And the other guy's like, fuck, why couldn't you fold? Because I was hoping I could fold. I have an ace. I'm just like, you need an ace. And I'm like, uh. and he ends up folding after like 5 minutes. And then the guy chose to pick me hard. I was like, fuck, I need to get on. I just don't want to gamble because you know what? I feel like I'm going It's just, I still have to stay, stay or the game or end in the heart. It was so flipping. I, I didn't want to flip. I was like, I had like 1,600, 1,700 best over there. So I got a backflip like about 30 minutes later. I, 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 flopped two, I turned two pair on him with 7 4. And then I just built the shit out of him. I, I, I just won 300 on the river. And there's only like 700 in the pot. I just sized my hand and took a look at the block. There's like a fist flush right there. I pull it like that. But, um, That's sick, bro. So I love it because that game is so much like three bed and four bed. You know? like, the button always three bed, four bed. And then three bed's like a thousand fifty. It's kind of hard to continue with each track. Each track, I fold all the way. That's a club. Like a lot of summer players, they'll, they'll think, oh, each track is good. Really no, not a position. These guys are going to fire up the whole day. I'm not willing to like stack off a thousand each track. <laughs> yeah. You have to wait. Like, and those guys know that, man. So I think it was like four guys broke, one to kill you. Three of us broke. That was fun, man. Hey, right, let's go eat. Come on. Come on. What if I told you? That everything you imagine that you can't physically see or breathe or touch with all those dreams that you have of, of a future that's better or a future that's different or a future that is filled with all the things that excite you 
and inspire you to get up out of bed every day and keep you with a thirst for life. What if I told you that all, the, all of those things that you see that seem impossible, that seem so far away, that seem so out of grasp, what if I told you that with patience and persistence, all of those things will become a reality. This very strip right here that we're looking at is from an angle inside the Venetian. You have to take, you have to go all the way up to the top floor, take two separate elevators just to get here. That's why there's nobody here. It's the most peaceful thing in the world. When I was 18, I had just graduated high school and I was looking for something that I was just naturally good at that gave me an excitement about life. I was searching for something that was what they called my passion or what, they, what I was supposed to study in school that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And my boy Taylor, who I became friends with through Tony, who I met at SEC in class with Johnny <laughs> Taylor. Taylor invited me to his house to play poker with the boys. And this is right when poker was blowing up, like 2008, right after the boom of money. Chris Moneymaker. And I remember watching ESPN and they were talking about poker like every day. And they were like debating on ESPN, like if poker was a sport. And I was like, this is so stupid. I used to hate poker. I remember being like, poker's a fucking card game. It's so fucking stupid. There's no way in hell poker's a sport. And then Taylor invited me over to his house and I played poker for the first time. And not only did I fall in love with poker and completely understand it right away, but I won that night. And back then when you're 18 10, and everybody buys it for 10 bucks and you win like 100 bucks, it's a lot of money to you. I used to work at fucking Chuck E. Cheese for like 45 bucks, 8 bucks an hour. Work like 8 hours, get like 40 bucks. So making 100 bucks in a night and it was almost as if they had like it was my money as soon as the tournament started. It was like, like it was just so easy to me. I started watching ESPN. With a different, uh, with a different mindset and a different viewpoint um, as to what poker is and how it's played, and then I saw the main event and they showed the skyline of Vegas, and I said, "Wow!" I said, "That's where I want to live one day." And here we are. I live in Vegas, baby. Anything is possible. It is 3.47. And do you guys remember that place earlier that Adnan went to? It was like a, a Wings place, pizza place at the, in the Target Plaza. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So <laughs> we're going to eat and he says the address. I'll bear the parkway. I knew it was the spot and sure enough, it is. <laughs> My hustle, you can't fathom my love, dude. Like yourself in a room doing five beats a day for three summers. That's a different world, like three summers. I deserve to do these numbers. The kid that made that deserves that made that so many things. I didn't even try to work a job, represent the mom. I wish I could. Now I can't come home real late. And what easy could it be? Now I can't come home real late. All right, Adnan, say good night. Good night. Good night to the YouTube Yo, bloggers, the YouTube fans. Yo, what are you posting, man? I'm just gonna put a little, little good night on the recap of the day. It was a sick day. All right, guys, it is 5 a.m. in the morning. I had one of the most epic days ever. The sun is rising. Say good morning to the sun. Epic day, epic day. Met the Tatted Poker King. Shout out Tatted Poker King. Cool ass motherfucking dude. Real as fuck. We saw Gus Hansen playing in the big room at the Bellagio. 
watch Adnan play some some 1020. We're gonna have highlights and clips of that coming soon. It's been a crazy day. I got back from uh, Dallas, hardly slept. I think I've pretty much been up for like 30 hours straight without sleep. Just slept on the plane basically. And, uh, but yeah, it's been an epic day. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I am going to bed. Good night.